Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to worship on this Pentecost Sunday. A few announcements for you. It's okay, you can stand up. I don't mind. <laughs> uh, first of all, um, Alex and Mary Lou have asked me this morning. Made it a very, very special day for them. Actually, Mary Lou, would you mind standing up? I'd like to welcome our new mother to the Good job. We made Today being Pentecost Sunday, next Sunday will be uh, Trinity Sunday. Beginning on June 6th, we will start service at 9.30 in the morning. Uh, for those of y'all who can be comfortable today, some of you, some of us. Uh, yes, it's a little sticky today, but uh, that'll help. I was here this morning and... ...in the morning that will go for online as well as here in the sanctuary. I'd like to welcome all of our visitors today. Thank you for coming to be with us. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for coming today. Are there any other announcements that I may not have covered? Nope. Let's begin with the prayer. Thank you. 
Please stand. One God who creates us and forms us, who redeems us and calls us, who unites us and sends us. Mighty and loving God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We seek our own way. We divide the body of Christ. In your mercy, cleanse us. Jesus, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me to proclaim release to the captives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim to you that your sins are forgiven and you are released. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the
Give it to 
but if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. About sin. because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you in the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that. Time, the daughter finally arrives and is excited to see her mom and tells her all about today's lesson. Can't wait to tell her. They get into the car. Sounds broadly and says, Jesus said, don't worry. Only to get the same response. Hmm. Big quill. Picked up the phone to call the Sunday school teacher. Hey, how was Sunday school today? What in the world did you teach them? She replied, it's Pentecost. We talked about the Holy Spirit. And the teacher began to laugh. She's like, oh my. To be with you. Today we celebrate that giving of that great comforter. The paraclete, the Holy Spirit, the third person in the Trinity. For these past weeks during Easter, we have been reviewing in John Jesus' farewell message. Produce great fruits for the kingdom. He has taught us to love one another as he loves us and the Father loves him, and that we are a part of him as he is. We love and protect our friends to make all God's people as our friends, even to the point of death. He broke the stereotype of. and healed and suffered and even died for us. It is in that love that Jesus came, or sorry, it is in that love that Jesus went and conquered sin. To be with us and protect us. To guide us and nurture us. Nurture us to teach and correct us. Sometimes he's represented by tongues of fire. 
or sometimes a great wind or a dove. The third He can be found in that stirring within our hearts and our souls when we hear the word or a great hymn or a good sermon. But also we see the Holy Spirit when we act contrary to our actions. We feel the pulling away from abandoning our The guilt of sin, the hopelessness of losing our connection with God. He's there as a reminder of where we ought to be and how we ought. Now, looking back at that. That little girl in her big cloak. Maybe she's a part right. When we share the gospels of those who are hungering for Jesus in their lives, another panel is made when we share our home here with all of his children. As together we stitch each part with the thread of our lives, with the thread of Jesus, our living, that gospel of the and guidance back to the Father on this long, dark night that we suffer going to the kingdom. God is working in our lives. that he has for all of us. And Jesus loved us. In this caring and love, the Holy Spirit is with you. He's helping you find our way home. Follow him. Listen for him. And hear him. Wrap yourself with out of Egypt. That road went past Jerusalem and beyond Calvary, past the tomb in the garden, and even beyond that first Pentecost to our little home here in Bradford, in the streets we really know really well. And he is there to protect us on that journey. We ask, we take the time to Let's take that first step together. Are you ready? Amen. Amen. Five, or sorry, three, six.
Jesus Christ, 
our Lord. Amen. Amen. Peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. which he was betrayed. He took the bread, gave thanks, broke it, gave to the disciples, saying, Take He took the cup, gave thanks, gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people. We are given assurance of our Lord's presence through the gift. You may be strengthened through your participation in the body of Christ. Lord, remember us your kingdom.
the body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ. Given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you. Blood of Christ shed for you. Amen.
praying. God, abundance for this bread of life and cup of salvation, you unite us with Christ, making us one with all your people. Now send us forth in the power of your spirit that we can claim your redeeming love to the world. Before we depart today, there was one other announcement. Um, again, as you know, we are collecting funds together for the Lutheran on the King. I was looking to see if we had a tolling it. Excuse me, the second Sunday. Uh, June, so please do contribute. Make sure on your offering that you do market for the Lutheran Home and Cain so that we can get May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine down upon you with care and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and bring you peace. Amen. Amen. Amen.